I have reason to believe that Johnny Gargano is the man being traded from Monday Night Raw over to SmackDown. And that reason is because, well, he's Johnny Wrestling and he should be on the wrestling show. Again, I'm kind of joking here. I don't have any true knowledge on who's heading over to SmackDown. But the fact of the matter is, Cody Rhodes did make a trade between brands uh, a few weeks ago at Payback for Main Event Jay Uso showing up on Monday nights. So with that said, who's heading over from the red brand over to Friday nights in the very near future? And again, I mentioned Johnny Gargano because I'm looking at the current Monday Night Raw roster right now. And after the releases, which, you know, we're, we're going to get into tomorrow on tomorrow's video right here on the, on the channel. Stay tuned for that. There really isn't anyone on the current Monday Night Raw roster that would greatly benefit from switching brands other than maybe Gargano. And here's the thing. Because at first I thought maybe you could send over a tag team. The New Day. The Viking Raiders. They've been kidding out on Monday nights. They, they'll be great on SmackDown as well. But then I got to thinking. I mean, we've got one set of undisputed tag team championships. So switching over tag teams from one brand to the other, it's not really relevant. It doesn't really make a splash. It doesn't create headlines. And again, Charlie Gargano's current stock in WWE isn't at an all-time high. He's very undervalued, underappreciated, in my opinion. If you've seen him on NXT over the past few years, he's fantastic in the ring. People relate to him. People love him. They, there's a reason why they call him Johnny Wrestling. And one last thing I'm going to add to this is I know a lot of fans, myself included, wants DIY on the main roster. And if you separate Gargano and Ciampa on different brands, that cannot happen anytime soon. But here's the thing. Ciampa is barely getting any reactions every single time he appears on Monday Night Raw. Ciampa, unfortunately, is not currently over in WWE's current landscape. And neither is Gargano, because even though Gargano could make a return to WWE TV in the very near future, he might get a pop right there just because people recognize him. But at the end of the day... He's not over either. And in order to bring these two guys together, in order to actually make people excited on the main, main roster, mainstream fans, casual fans excited about DIY, you got to get these two guys over. On top of that, they're fantastic single stars. They should deserve a singles run, a shot, a true shot at being single sh stars and singles champions. So give them that shot. And then if they don't cut it, if they don't work, put them together. But in the meantime, get their characters over and clear with the current fan base. And I get it. Main event Jey Uso, Johnny Gargano, it's not an equal trade. Their stocks are completely different. Jey Uso is close to being a main event player. They're trying to build him up in that way. He's going to be a part of a WrestleMania match against Jimmy Uso. That's pretty much set in stone. I firmly believe that. So SmackDown needs uh, an equal trade. And just sending Gargano over to SmackDown... I don't feel like that's equal right now. So, I'll throw in Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae as well heading over to Friday nights. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you watched NXT, what, two, three years ago, almost, well, it's been a while, you know that along with the former United States champion, Austin Theory, they used to form the, the, the Sable, the family known as The Way. And their skits, their segments were entertaining as hell. And I'm not saying... That they should put them back together. Hell no. Theory just needs some relevant storyline to get him over. Because make no mistake about it. Uh, the office is incredibly in love with Theory at, on the main roster. They want to get him over. The fans, they're kind of iffy right now. So why not have Gargano, Loray, Hartwell show up. Confront Theory. And then you got Grayson Waller on top of that. It might make for some interesting segments, an interesting mid-card feud, and that might get both Theory and Gargano over the edge and get the fans really into them. So with that said, those are my thoughts. Johnny Gargano seems like a perfect choice along with Hartwell and LeRae to move, to move over to SmackDown in the very near future for the trade of Main Event Jey Uso to Monday Night Raw. But again, tune in later on tonight to the USA Network for another episode of Monday Night Raw because we might find out tonight who gets traded over to SmackDown. We might find out a week from now, a month from now, two months from now. Who knows? But if you have your thoughts, your predictions on who might head over to Friday nights, leave it in the comment section below.
I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.